Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. Amen, amen. Good morning. Welcome to Sound the Alarm Ministries. Uh, now presents uh, a word from our sponsor, Amen, live podcast and live Facebook, go, go Facebook live video, amen. I'm Minister Arthur L. Weathersby, amen, uh, from Sound the Alarm Ministries, amen. Joel 2.1 is the scripture for our ministries. We are crying loud and sparing not, amen. That's the motto that we utilize at Sound the Alarm Ministries, amen. I greet you this morning in Jesus with Jesus' joy, amen. For God truly is a good God, and he's been good unto us. Amen. Amen. I'm just trying to get settled here, y'all. Amen. Yeah, God is good, and he's good all the time. Amen. Uh, I know by now, many of you, if you are uh, had an occasion, you were uh, able to listen to my wife, Pastor Evangelist Sherry Oweathersby, as she ministered on this morning. Amen. We thank God for that. Uh, earlier this morning, I I was ministering on the sacrificial praise line. Amen. I wasn't scheduled to do so, but as it would be, uh, I was the ram in the bush. Amen. I'm feeling not too good. I don't know. Yesterday was a great day, y'all. You know, yesterday was my birthday. Had a grand time in the Lord. Blessed in everything that we did. Amen. I was up until the wee hours of the morning almost 1.30 or so, uh, because I had to do a podcast of com yesterday, and I uploaded something, amen, the recording of my wife, um, who, who did an album, amen, um, amen, yeah, she did an album, let's see if I can't snatch that album, praise God, she actually did an album, y'all, that's it, uh, Gabriel Records, amen, uh, the title of the album was At Last I'm Free. The name of their group was named Matthew, and it was comprised of my wife. At that time, at that time her name was Sherry Scales, Chuck and Emma Easton, and Kathy Gall- uh, Gallard, or G- uh, Gellard, Gellard, Kathy Gellard, amen. Kathy Gellard, Chuck and Emma Easton, and my wife, Sherry Scales, amen. Uh, great songs, amen, that they did. It was a great album, and I had occasion to listen to it yesterday uh, before I left to go to Elton, Maryland, where I had uh, dinner, amen, uh, afternoon dinner at Elton, Maryland, with my father and mother in love, Bishop Boston, Bishop Boston Ford Jr., and Evangelist Willa Mayford. Those be the parents of my wife, Evangelist. Pastor Evangelist Sherry O. Weathersby, amen. We had a grand time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up in prayer. Looks like my voice is failing me, amen. Let me see if I have something here that I can take or use. Oh, yes, I do. Let's try this peppermint oil, amen. Um, my voice is failing me, so I'm going to uh, see what we can do here before it goes completely out. Let's go into prayer. Gracious and eternal Father, at this time I come before you humbly just to say thank you. Thank you for watching over, protecting, and keeping us for this day, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for waking us up and starting us on our way. Thank you, Lord, that you've been with us uh, throughout this day. Oh, my God. Ooh, that's some strong stuff. That peppermint oil. You've been with us throughout this day uh, since we woke up. You gave us brand new mercies that we see. And Father God, I am grateful for all the things that you've done. Now, God, before I go further, I know that I need to query or to be sure of myself whether or not that thought, word, or deed from the last moment I spoke to you, anything that I may have done that was not pleasing within your sight, I'm going to ask for forgiveness. Now, dear God, I pray as we go forth throughout this day, I want you to order my steps in your word as I allow your word to be a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Create in me a clean heart and renew a right standing spirit within me. Let this mind be in me that was also in Christ Jesus, giving me a mind to work, 
according to thy will and thy good pleasure. And I'll be of a mind for to give you the honor, the praise, and the glory. Father God, I ask that as you, as you order my steps on this day, Father God, I pray that as I go into your word, O oh Lord God, that, that your people that hear, Father God, let them have an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying to them on this day, Father God. Open up their hearts, minds, and understanding, O oh Lord God, so that they need not, so that they not just only be hearers of this word, but they need and must become doers of it as well. And then, dear God, as I go forth, I pray that you continue to just have your way in my life. And Father God, as the messenger of the hour, I pray that and know that I know that Arthur, you must decrease, I must decrease, and therefore if I decrease, you, the Lord my God, must increase. And therefore I want the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, to be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, my strength and redeemer, in the precious name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I pray with thanksgiving in my heart. Amen, amen, amen. Good morning, Mr. Art Corley Jr., sir. Thank you for joining us. We're about ready to get into the Word. And I'm going to be found in Psalm 131. Amen. Psalm 131. I'm sorry. Lord, have mercy. Uh, help me, Holy Ghost. <laughs> Psalm 139. Lord, have mercy. Psalm 139. And I'm going to be reading from the Amplified Bible, and it reads this way. O oh Lord, you have searched me thoroughly and have known me. You know my down-sitting, my uprising. You understand my thought afar off. You sift and search out my path and my lying down. And you are acquainted with all my ways. Mm -mm 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 -mm. For there is not a word in my mouth, tongue. I'm sorry, there's not a word in my tongue. Help me, Holy Ghost, still on earth. But behold, O oh Lord, you know it all together. You have beset me and shut me in behind and before. You have laid your hand upon me. Yes, Lord. Your infinite knowledge is too wonderful me for me. It is high above me. I cannot reach it. Where could I go from your spirit or where could I flee from your patience? If I ascend up into heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, the place of the dead, behold, you are there. Yes. Uh-huh. If I take the wings of the morning or dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall your hand lead me and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me and the night shall be the only light about me. Even the darkness hides nothing from you. But the night shines as a day. The darkness and the light are both alike to you. For you did form my inward, yes sir, my inward parts. You did knit me together in my mother's womb. I will confess and praise you for you are fearful and wonderful and for the awful wonder of my birth. Wonderful are your works and that my inner self knows right well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being formed in secret and intricately, curiously wroth as if embroidered with various colors in the depths of the earth, a region of darkness and mystery. Your eyes saw my unformed substance in your book. All the days of my life were written before ever they took shape, when as yet there was none of them. How precious and weighty also are your thoughts to me. O oh God, how vast is the sum of them. If I could count them, they would be more in number than the sand. When I awoke, could I count to the end, I would still be with you. If you would only slay the wicked, O oh God, and the men of, of blood, depart from me, who speak against you wickedly, your enemies, who take your name in vain. Do not I do I not hate them, O oh Lord, who hate you? And am I not grieved, and do I not loathe those who rise up against you? I hate them with perfect hatred, they have become my enemy. Search me thoroughly, O oh God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, and see if there's any weakness or hurtful way in me, and lead me in the way of everlasting. Lord my God, thus is the reading of God's word. The word of the Lord is already blessed. May he continue to bless the hearing, reading, doing of his holy blessed word. And as we forestated, we not only need to become hearers of it, but we must and need to become doers of it as well. Now for a thought, guys, as the Lord God will lead me, 
we're going to say this. Nobody knows us like God. Nobody knows us like God. Amen. I thank God for the word. I thank God for the message that is yet to come. And I and I bear that you, uh, uh, I, I pray that you uh, just uh, just keep me in your prayers, amen, because it looks like these allergies have gotten a little bit uh, 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 come upon me on this morning. Uh, there's no other reason for me to have what I'm having going on that right now, but that's all right. My God is able. And so, therefore, we're in the book of Psalms 139, and we're talking about nobody knows us like like God. Amen. Now, now we, we like to believe, we like to believe that that people who we come in contact with and that have been around us, that they will have occasion to know us. Amen. They have occasion to know us. I can tell you from all honesty, in all my 64 years of life, I don't believe that many people absolutely know us like we think they should know us. Amen. Sad to say, I, 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 am, I am a witness of, and I, I can testify that, uh, that, that this word, that, that what I just said is true, because... Uh, some of the people who you think that should know you, they're the ones that don't know you. And who am I talking about? What are you saying, Minister Weathers? Be what I'm talking about. Well, let me tell you. I can tell you that in my own family, in my own family, that I believe that I have relatives that really do not know who I am. I know that when I was growing up, I had four brothers that I grew up with. And that my mother was a single parent, was raising. Uh, in that household, uh, my brothers did not know me. They absolutely did not know me. And and reason being is because they never really took occasion to try to know me. Uh, we didn't have that kind of a family relationship, unfortunately and sad to say. But know this, I knew them. And the reason why I knew them because that's the way God had made me. That's the way God had his hands on me. Because I was always that type of person. I was an observer of life, y'all. Uh, before I... <laughs> Before I grew into the person that I am today, and I'm not talking about the physical person, but I'm talking about the the, the person, the, per, the uh, individual that sits here before you today, amen. My my um, nature was this, y'all. I was very quiet and introverted. I know that might seem that might seem hard to believe for those who think they know me, amen. But yes, I was. I was very quiet and introverted unto myself. I didn't do that much talking at all. I mean, really, I did not. And it was maybe a few reasons why I didn't, but the way I saw it is that uh, I did a lot of time just observing and taking things in. Someone had a mindset of what happened with uh, Mary every time that she came across early in Jesus' uh, a youth when something would happen, such as the time that, oh my God, when they uh, went to Jerusalem for the Passover feast and then they left there with their party and the, that, that went with them. They realized after about a day or so, if I'm not mistaken, that um, Jesus was not with them. So they, tur they turned the camp upside down and they couldn't find him. So they went, to well, they had already turned the camp upside down. They turned back to go to Jerusalem and went there. And, then, and I think after three days, they finally found him. And when they found him, he was in the temple of all places, 12 years old in the temple. Among all the religious leaders there, along with the lawyers and the scribes, sitting among them, conversing about the scriptures. And, 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 and then his mother said to him, son, are you not concerned that, 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 uh, uh, that we've been looking for you and, and you're here? Oh, what's going on? I'm paraphrasing, and if you will, and isogeting. I'm, well, I'm not paraphrasing. I'm actually isogeting that text. And then Jesus said to her, woman, did you not know that I must be about my father's business? Oh my God! And the Bible said that after she, after Jesus said that, Mary pondered that in her heart. Yeah, because it was something to ponder. Uh, amen. Uh, she knew that this was the son that the Holy Ghost had 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 allowed her to conceive. Amen. As reported to her by the angel Gabriel when he visited her and told her that she was blessed by God and highly favored by men. Now, now know this: that, that you, you can only be blessed by God. You can be favored of men, but God is the one that bestows all blessings because all blessings come from God. Amen. Just as all good and perfect gifts come from God. Amen. Uh, yeah, yeah. I know some people say that we can bless you, but, I, I, you know, your blessings really come from God. Uh, we, that's just something that we say that 
Uh, we, uh, we bless you, but I like to say I pray God's blessings upon you.